What's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to prove that if we have A, a subset of B, and C, a subset of D, that A cross C is a subset of B cross D. It's just a straight up set theory proof. Before we do anything, let me recall the definition of X, right? That means Cartesian product. So if we have A cross B, this is the set, right? This is the set of all ordered pairs X comma Y, such that the first component comes from X, so X is an A, and the second component comes from B, so and Y is in B. So both conditions have to hold for something to be an element or a member of this set. So that's the definition of A cross B. Let's go ahead and knock out this proof, so proof. As you know, when you're proving an if-then statement, um, you assume this part is true. So we get to assume this in our proof. So we start our proof by writing down our assumptions. So we start by saying suppose or assume. So suppose, I'll use suppose just to save a little bit of time. Suppose A is a subset of B, and, and C is a subset of D. Okay? Now the claim is that A cross C is a subset of B cross D, right? So we have to show that this set is contained in this set. In order to do that, we have to show that every element of this set is also in this set. So we start by taking an element of this set. We, we call it an arbitrary element. So take, I'll just say take any, okay? So, so take any, so it can be any element, um, x comma y, and a cross c. So we're implying it can be any element. So now we just have to show that this element is also in b cross d. If we do that, then the proof is done. We've showed the subset inclusion. All right, so now what you do is you just basically write down what this means. That's all you really can do in these types of proofs. So this means, I have to write that down. So this means, well, using the definition of Cartesian product, right? So if you have an element x, y, and a cross c, that means x is an a and y is in c. So this means that x is an a. And it also means that y is an element of c. So now let's be really, really pro about this, right? Let's explain um, how, how to get here. So A is a subset of B and X is an A. That also means, therefore that means X is in B. C is a subset of D and Y is in C. That means Y is also in D. So let's write that down formally. Let's do each one in one line like this. So since, let's reiterate everything, right? So since X is an A, and just for clarity, A is a subset of B, Right, that was our hypothesis. So we have x and a, and a is a subset of b. This implies that x is also a b. So since we have this, then x is in b. So since x is in a, and a is a subset of b, then we have that x is in b. Since the then isn't really necessary, I just put it there just for hopefully added clarity. Likewise, since y is in c, and uh, C is a subset of D. I'm going to ignore that loud ringing. Then this means that, I don't know if you can hear it, then Y is in D. Sounds like a car alarm went off down in the, in the, uh, oh, it's gone! <laughs> All right, so since X is in A and A is a subset of B, X is in B. Since Y is in C and C is a subset of D, Y is in D. So we have X and B and Y and D, thus, that means that XY is in B cross D. So we started with an element in A cross C. And we showed that it was in B cross D. So this shows this shows what we had to prove, what we we're trying to prove. This shows that A cross C is a subset of B cross D. And that completes the proof. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you can see all this. Um, thanks for visiting my channel. Um, until next time, take care.